بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر ٹیکنگ دا سیکنڈ پارٹ آف آور ٹاپک ایکٹیو اینڈ پیسیو وائسز ان آور پریویس ویڈیو وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ ایکٹیو اینڈ پیسیو وائسز اینڈ دین وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا وربز وچ فارم ایکٹیو اینڈ پیسیو وائسز آفٹر دیٹ وی وینٹ ٹو تھرو سم ایگزامپلز and uh, we discussed with it some examples too and uh, some rules today we are going to discuss some examples of uh, active and passive voices related to different uh, tenses so like we see here in uh, this table we have got four columns the tense column here it is tense we have got subject verb and object now one by one we will discuss these in the first uh, uh, column as we see here in simple tense if we have a uh, active sentence rita writes a letter for example we have rita writes a letter it is an active sentence now in order to change it in, into pace you here rita is subject write is verb and a letter it is object now when we change it into pace you we write is it as a letter is written by rita so here the subject is a letter verb remains as it is and the object is rita now in the next that is simple past we see Rita wrote a letter. Rita wrote a letter. Now here the subject is Rita. Verb wrote. And then we have got object a letter. When we change it into Pesu we write a letter was written by Rita. So Rita again here becomes object. And then a letter it is this what we call subject. Now when we go to present perfect. when we discuss present perfect for example we have got a sentence rita has written a letter when we change it into pesu we write a letter has been written by rita so we say a letter has been written by rita or in the next as we see here in the future Rita will write a letter. Now when we change it into Pesu, we see a letter will be written, written by Rita. So, or we can see here uh, another sentence, Rita can write a letter. Now when we change it, we see a letter can be written by Rita. So these are some examples related to different tenses. Now moving forward, when we see present progressive sentences, like here, we see <coughs> active sentence, Rita is writing a letter. Rita is writing a letter. Now when we change it into Pesu, we, saw, we write a letter is being written by Rita. Past progressive Rita was writing a letter we can change it a letter was being written by Rita now going to the past perfect we see past perfect Rita had written a letter it can be changed into passive sentence a letter had been written by Rita now going to the future we see rita will have written a letter changing it into pesu a letter will have been written by rita similarly when we move to the conditional first we see rita would write a letter we will change it a letter would be written by rita or the second we see here rita would have written a letter it can be changed into 
a letter would have been written by Rita. So these are some examples we can uh, clarify the things. Now sometimes we have got a sentence which has got two objects. Now when there is a sentence which has got two objects, what we will do there? Now rewriting an active sentence with uh, two objects in passive voice means that one of the two objects it becomes a subject and the other remains as an object. Which object to transform into a subject it depends what you focus on. So it depends upon you that how you will focus, how you will rearrange the sentence that which object is going to transform into subject and which will remain as an object like we have got an, an example here we see Rita wrote a letter to me we have got two objects number one is a letter and then to me when we change it into passive form it can be changed in two forms number first it can be a letter was written to me by Rita object first is to me Object second is Rita. Or it can be written like this. I was written a letter by Rita. So this is uh, the things that we um, go through while changing an active sentence into a passive one which has got two objects. Now we have got some rules. How we can change an active sentence into a passive one. The object of the verb takes the position of subject. The subject of the verb in the active voice becomes the object and is usually preceded by the preposition by. The tense of the verb in the passive voice remains the same as in the active voices. In the passive voices, third form of the verb is used. We have got some rules here. I have made a, it in tabular form. It is presented in tabular form. So the first rule we see here when we are dealing with present indefinite tense. So we have rules is, am, or plus third form of the verb. When we are dealing with the present continuous it is is, am, or being plus third form of all this verb. If we are dealing with present perfect form, we have got has, have, plus been, plus third form of the verb. Similarly, if it is past indefinite tense, we use was, where, plus third form of the verb. And uh, when we are dealing with present past continuous tense, we use was, where, plus being and then third form of the verb. Similarly, if we are dealing with past perfect tense, we use had plus been plus third form of the verb. Now some more rules. If we have got future indef indefinite tense, we use will or shall plus be plus third form of the verb. And in case of future perfect tense, what we use? We use will or shall plus have, been and then third form of the verb. Then the, in case of modal verbs, we have will, shall, would, should, can, could, may. We have got might, must, ought plus first form of verb. Then we use modal verb then be and then third form of the verb. Now in case of infinity to and uh, first form of this verb we use to be plus third form of verb and I, we, he, she, they are changed into to me, us, him, her and them. These are some rules which we need to go through while changing these uh, active into passive. Now, 
you know that there are some exceptions all all always while going through some general rules so here again we need to take care of singular and plural nature of nouns or pronouns verbs or helping verbs they require to be adjusted accordingly as i have already told you in uh, uh, how we focus to the sentences now going to the interrogative sentences which we begin with w w h words like we have got uh, what why when etc the question word is retained in the beginning of the sentence an interrogative sentence in the active voice remains an interrogative sentence in the passive voice or passive form but so far as an imperative sentence is concerned showing the order or request so accordingly in the passive voices we say you are requested ordered or we say advised and then we use the infinitive with to again we see that the sentences involving order or advices they are preferably changed into passive by using the word let we use let or we use should for example we have got please close the door you are requested to close the door save your soul your soul should be saved let your soul be saved do it let it be done it should be done in some sentences the subject is understood type here the subject has to be uh, supplied according to the context while changing them into active form the thief was arrested we see that it is understood by as it has been arrested by the police now again prepositions attached with the verb in the active form continue to be attached with them even in the passive form we have got please listen to him you are requested to listen to him he turned down my proposal we see we can be changed my proposal was turned down by him so in the case of verb having two objects in active voices either of them can be retained in the passive hari gave me an apple i was given an apple by hari an apple was given to me by hari so you need to understand this as i have already told you that transitive verbs they just form only those they form the passive these formers so you need to remember that intransitive verbs do not have passive form i go to school go is intransitive verb so no passive form what is done can not be undone so we have got uh, some sentences like the rose smells sweet the rose is sweet when smelt quinine taste is bitter quinine is bitter when tasted lemons taste sour lemons are sour when tasted when some verbs we see uh, these proportions by is not used like uh, no to surprise at annoy with then we have contain in then we have some please with or displease at or alarm so we don't use the preposition by so this was uh, something about uh, some rules and some examples of active and passive voices hope that you will enjoy this video and it will help uh, you a lot in understanding the topic assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh